Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica Global Customer Support. My name is Rahul Kumar Tiwari and today as part of this video KB we would be looking at the data security feature available in Informatica MDM provisioning tool that is field filter and note filter. Let us quickly scan through the agenda of the video. We will start with the introduction. We will then see what is an entity level security, what is field filter, what is note filter and we will follow this by a demo. So in MDM or rather from E360 you are provisioning what we can do is we can control access to records from multiple levels the topmost being the entity level security so we know that, that uh, from provisioning tool we configure business entity on top of certain base objects so what we can do is for certain roles from hub console secure access manager we can give a read create update delete and all the other related privileges on top of that we use so this configuration is what we call as entity level security the second and the further granular level of filters are field filters and note filters so suppose I have given permission on my for my personal business entity which is uh, sitting on top of CV party table so I have given it all the permission but therein I want to filter certain type of records from certain roles so say I have manager and senior manager role and I want to limit active records to manager certain configuration around like that and I don't want to expose those record to senior managers so what I need to do is for that uh, I'll go in my person business entity and I'll like configure a field filter so field filters are nothing but when certain values are matched we can give permission or we can deny permission to certain roles to either view it or to block access to that record the next is note level filter so node level filter is uh, sitting on top of parent uh, it is something uh, that you have to restrict if you want to restrict access to a parent if the child node has no data then we configure node level filter so suppose you want to s uh, show records only when child have data and when say party has an address only then you want to show this uh, data to a, a user if the if the party doesn't have the address you don't want to expose the party data as well the parent level data so then we configure the node filter so let us first look what is entity level security so let's quickly uh, see what my configuration is so this is my provisioning UI and from provisioning I am going to be modeling my business entity so I have a person business entity okay, which is sitting on top of my C party base object so if I go to my MDM hub console this is my table and the entity level configurations can be managed from SAM users and roles this section security access manager so I have my manager and senior manager role so suppose on my manager role what I need to do is I want to restrict some access or if I want, don't want to see um, or show my person B which is sitting on CB party so what I'll do is I'll come to base object I'll select the person and from therein I can changes the privileges rate create update delete merge execute and all the related privileges uh, related pipe related privileges I mean I'm suppose party is doing a lookup on top of uh, some other table so uh, I need to also give permission to that lookup table if the some cleanse function is involved then I need to give permission to the cleanse function as well so these are the configuration and that needs to be managed from that when say uh, entity level security next is our uh, field filter which we are which we are going to talk about so suppose this is my provisioning and I want to limit certain type of data so here is my data so C part is my table and I have distinct status code as active and null okay so I just want to show active record say I want to show active record to my manager role so these are my data status code is active for say secord first name is secord so what we'll do is I want to show active records to my manager only active records to my manager okay. so what we'll do is I'll go to provisioning I'll go to field filters I'll create I'll create a new field filter and then I'll select the field so let me see if I have the status code in place okay I need to add the status code over here so I'll just create a status code field and I'll map it to the status code column publish this now 
we can go and add the field filter so go to my business entity person field filters create and I'll give status code filter and I'll select the column as status code now I have two options to operate this number one is uh, whether I want to deny access when this condition is met or if I want to allow access if this condition is met so suppose first we try and deny record so what I want to say is if the status code is A I want to deny manager this record I'll do this and I'll save it and what would happen is I'll publish this changes so this change I publish will quickly go to our hub console and see what is the user that is assigned to my manager role so I have created one user new user which is assigned to my manager role and another user which I have created test user which is assigned to my super user role so I'll go to provisioning let's log into provisioning and I'll log in with my manager role which is new user and I'll try to access record record and see if I can access it or not since I have enabled field filter and I'm denying it so this role should not be able to access record record suppose I'm trying to look for record record I'm not getting any result but if I say I want to access any other record where status code is not A but rather say it's null so let's see what record I have so I have say Della Potter so I'll try and access Della and see if I can access it or not so if I run a search on Della I can access it so this is how field filter is configured in the same manner over here since we, uh, we configured a deny rule in the same manner we can configure an allow rule so what, what would be the difference the only difference is here we are defining that the field values matches with this particular value we have to deny manager access to this record but if we say we do an allow so suppose I delete it and I create an allow rule saying that if value is A and then my manager should have access to it that means only when if my value would match to A manager would be able to access it and all other records manager would not be able to access it so now if I create an apply rule I'll publish it the changes are saved if I go and just re-log in so I'm just re-logging with the same new user which is my managerial role and now if I try to access a record I'll be able to access it because I have configured my allow rule on top of it so let's try and access a record now so now if I try to access a record I'm able to access it okay I can able to see the record but if I try to access Della I'll not be able to access it because I have only created my allow lure for record so I'm got I'm getting no results over here so based on our requirement we can have an allow rule we can have a deny rule or we can have a combination of both uh, we also have certain other fields which relate to field filters so if we go to field filter we'll see we can also do a combination like if I say if I'm creating a deny rule over here when I create a deny rule I can deny a certain specific value to certain users and then I can also configure what what if I have to what I have to do with the other remaining values uh, for any if I want to deny the remaining values for any other users or for multiple users I can define it from here so I can select more than one roles from here suppose I've selected manager I have a, I can also select uh, senior manager from here so apply this rule to user roles that are not specified in any deny roles means suppose if I have uh, defining a rule on top of this uh, for a user role say manager and there are another rule super user so super user is not defined in any of the rule so if I check this box this particular rule will also be applied for super user so the same things apply for all of them 
similarly we can define node filter but node filter can only be defined at the parent level so see when you have create a root entity so person is my root entity i have an option to define node filter on top of my parent or root entity if i go further suppose i have one to man many child let's discard this and i want to say i have person details okay this is my child so i don't have got an options to define a uh, node filter over here okay because this is only my uh, one level child but le let us look at address so why i'm getting a node filter option here is because i have another level uh, with this address so there is another child uh, sitting inside address so this become parent for that so that's why we get an option for node filter over here so suppose i'm defining node filter on top of this yeah but before that this moving one point that has been missed so when it coming to field filter suppose uh, you know you are defining both allow rule and deny rule uh, in the sense that both deny and allow rule contradict each other so suppose you have a status code a which you are denying to rule manager but you have status uh, code a which you are allowing to rule manager in that particular case always deny rule will take precedence so the the first deny rule will be executed and the rule would be denied you will not be allowed to see the record so in in cases where deny and allow both rule are defined and there is a contradiction deny rule always take precedence okay. coming back to node filters uh, we can create a node filter over here so let me just close this all this to avoid confusion yeah. so node filter we can do a create and suppose uh, I, I can select the child entity okay so over here i can i'm selecting person details so i'm saying that uh, or, or email okay so i'm saying that if a person has an email only then i want to show a record or only then i want to allow uh, do not want to show a record so both configuration i can do so i can say it here in my email note filter so in the same manner i can deny access to a person so suppose uh, if my email address if there is no email address then i want to show this data okay uh, i don't want to show this data sorry i don't want to show this data because this is a deny rule so i, I can uh, say for all users do this so star is for all users so for all users if there is no email data I don't want to show the part person record as well so I'll just click apply and I'll publish it so what would happen is if there is no email address we cannot see the person entity as well okay please note that if you don't have a note filter you know even if you have no email address you'll be able to see person entity there's no issue with that but with note filter defined if there is no email address you will not be able to see person email entry similarly if you just want to do the other way around you want to allow access if there is no data other way you don't want to allow it so you can do that as well okay it's not that other way you don't want to allow it the thing is suppose you for a particular role say super user you want to allow access to person if, even if there is no uh, data in note filter you can do that and for that you can define both deny and access rule So all that that we have seen in the demo uh, has been covered in this uh, slides in textual format. So you can just pause this and you can read it through. The only thing that uh, needs to be added from here is uh, we need to avoid creating an excessive of field filters because uh, when we add a lot of field filters, uh, it takes a longer time to process the API request uh, and that creates some performance issues. So um, this is the deny rule uh, that we have talked about, the allow rule. Uh, deny rule are joined by logical or operation and allow rule is joined by logical and operators so this is my node filter so all these details the logical or an, or an and operator and the other relevant details can be read from provisioning tool guide so in the provisioning tool guide uh, we have section configuring security and data filters for business entity so we, this all can be read uh, from there we have also a couple of articles on top of this 561213 and 612207 so please go through them uh, we would love to hear your feedback on the support channels please provide your feedback thank you